Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to part two, I guess, of using Link with Entity Framework. In the last video, we talked about how to use Link and return an anonymous object after querying the database with Entity Framework. And today we're going to explore how do we join data from two different, or it doesn't have to just be two, it can be as many different tables as you would like. How do we join data from two different tables, and this is the way, I'm sure there are many out there, but this is the way with Entity Framework that made the most sense to me. So we're going to explore that. If that sounds interesting to you, and if you like learning new things in code, please hit subscribe and follow along on this channel. That's what it is. I find new things and I share them on here. And if you're interested in purchasing a standing desk, the one I use every single day will be linked in the description if you want to go check it out. And uh, I got my chamomile. Is it chamomile or chamomile? Let me know. Tea today if anyone's interested. Don't want anything caffeinated. So let's explore. If you didn't watch the last video, uh, I recommend you do so. But let's explore what we did real quick. We use Entity Framework to grab the colors from the color table. And we just made a new anonymous type or anonymous object here. And we set color equal to the color name from the database query. We set this hex variable to color hex and we just did a literal string for the table name key and if we go look at our tables let's browse our sqlite database we have a cars table and a colors table and you can see the colors have an id a color name and a color hex and then the cars have an id a color id and a model so the Mustang will have a color where ID is equal to two, and I believe that is red. And then Prius will have one, which is blue. And that's what I want to do. I want to join these two tables together and get the model and the color name, not the ID. Because if a user sees ID, that doesn't really mean much to them. They want to know the color name or maybe the hex value. So like I said, this is the way that made the most sense to me. And we're going to do something very similar to what we did in the last video. And we're gonna have a where clause, we're going to create a new uh, anonymous type object, and we're gonna read it out, I guess, because we wanna make sure what we have is legit. But let's first focus on where we're grabbing the data, our link. So I'm going to keep the where clause. Actually, no, I don't, I don't think I do want the where clause. Um, I'm actually gonna cut that out, so I'm gonna control X that line. And then we're actually gonna have two different froms. And here's where we join our different tables. And like I said, you can have as many different tables joined as you would like. In our case, it's going to be two. Or I think I said that earlier. If not, here's the first time. But here I'm just going to grab another table. And just like we did in the previous video, we gave it an alias. So I named colors calls. And then I can just name cars. Uh, well, I guess cars is already a class. So let's just call it c and db dot cars because our test context has both a db set for colors and cars okay so we're pretty much just grabbing data from two different tables with two different aliases and we do want a where clause because this is where we say we want to join these where and then we could say calls dot id so the color ID is equal to C dot color ID, right? So once again, we're grabbing all of the data from these two tables and we're joining them where the ID of the color is equal to the car's color ID. And when we create our new anonymous type, I'm just going to do, um, let's do model. Let's name it model. We can name it whatever we want. And that's gonna be C dot model for the car model. And then let's just do a color name, which is going to be equal to calls dot color name, because that comes from the colors table. And we can add other stuff if we want. We could add literal strings, numbers, um, and maybe maybe I should add the color hex as well. Let's say uh, the user cares about that. So calls dot color hex. Okay, and let's go ahead and read this out. So instead of color, I'm going to say model, and that's equal to object dot model, and then hex object dot, and then it's color hex, and then instead of table name, that's no longer, uh, you know, 
a value in our new object here. Let's put model, or no, we did model already, my bad. So color, and that's going to be object dot color name. And this looks right to me. We can maybe move this in between the two. I think that would look better. So it's gonna read out the model of the car, the color name, and then the color hex that we queried when we joined these two tables together with entity framework and link. So let's run this and make sure everything looks right. Like I said, uh, Prius has a color ID of one. So if we go to the colors table where ID is equal to one, the color should be blue and then the Mustang should be red. So let's go ahead and start this and see if it gives us that back. And there you go guys. So we have model Prius color is blue and here's the hex which is correct. We just said we expected it to be blue and then Mustang color red and here's the hex value for that. And of course if you wanted to add more information to these objects you can say uh, tables that this information came from can be the colors and the cars and if we run this um, it's not going to read it because we didn't actually write it out so I'd have to add it to the string but you guys get the point you can add information but all in all the main focus of this video was how do we how do we join two different tables with link and using entity framework to grab these tables information and you know put them in a new object that we can then use in the future to do different things so pretty uh pretty useful and um maybe there's other ways to do this hopefully uh you know if i find out i will share that those ways with you guys too and thanks for watching appreciate you hope to see you in the next one